Hello, I'm Christy Johns with your latest Australian online news. The Bureau of Meteorology has warned of an incoming severe heat wave into next week, with temperatures expected to soar more than 15 to 18 degrees above the November average in parts of southern and eastern Australia. A Melbourne University lecturer serving a 10-year sentence in Iran for espionage has been freed in return for the release of three jailed Iranians. Kylie Moore Gilbert has been detained for two years and said her release is bittersweet. President Donald Trump continues to push claims of election fraud, repeating the claims on speakerphone at a hearing in Pennsylvania, as Joe Biden's team continue to push forward into the transition phase. A man will face court today after a wheel flew off his car in Kabulcha and struck a five-year-old boy who was taken to hospital in a critical condition. The man was charged with dangerous driving offences and the boy is recovering. Argentinian soccer player Diego Maradona has died aged 60 from a heart attack. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, has revealed the painful moment she suffered a miscarriage when changing Archie's nappy in an article on loss for the New York Times. A new study by the University of California has found babies who babble more have a better range of vocabulary and it helps when adults respond with similar sounds. The study contradicts previous beliefs that babble is bad for a baby's development. And the Australian music industry's Night of Nights was held last night in a COVID safe way with a powerful rendition of Helen Reddy's I Am Woman, one of the many highlights. For more, visit australianonlinenews.com.au.